All right, let's get back from the left up. In the previous video, we created a path which consists of three targets. Um, next step, we're gonna synchronize this path into rapid code. So what we need to do is, okay, we, uh, we did uh, step number three. We're gonna synchronize paths to rapid editor. What you need to do is to um, either go here, uh, select the path you want to convert and make a right click and select synchronize to rapid or you can either select, uh, press synchronize and select Synchronize to Rapid. It says transfer paths and target in the station to Rapid code. Okay, you can, you have two methods. Okay, I'll uh, prefer this one. Okay, here you, they want you to check um, the path you want to convert. And tool and work object. We don't have uh, more than one tool object or work object, so it's fine. Let's uh, click OK. OK, our code is under uh, rapid ribbon. If you notice, uh, when I select home ribbon, you, you get layout, paths, paths and target and text window. But when I switch to rapid ribbon, I get only controller and files windows. So it depends where you click on Robot Studio. Okay, so um, let's expand until we find our code. So uh, we expand from the controller to rapid. We further expand until we see module one. Okay, here we go. Let's double click. Okay, we have path 10 and three targets. So target is stored in terms of wrap target. If I hover over wrap target, it said position data. Um, it's, it's a constant. Constant is the constant. Constant. But the syntax in robot store is the same. Okay. Um, path 10 consists of uh, four lines. So move L, also of them, is uh is written by move l commands um procedure procedure here p r o c it's a is where your code is executed you can have many procedures in your program it's fine but the most important thing is that everything start from procedure main. So what is missing is that we don't have the main procedure. Okay. So sometimes to get for some people you will get a procedure main automatically. Uh, if not, we can fix that. Okay, let's go back to um, home ribbon. So under path, you can create a new path and you can rename it to main. Okay. When we rename it to main, it said it's automatically at um a, um a bracket entry entry point. When to learn that entry point got the Boss Studio to add program. Huh? Okay. 
So we can synchronize this to back to rapid. Okay, synchronize. We only synchronize main. We so we check only main. Okay, we don't check path ten. We have path ten already. Click okay. Get back to. Uh, we need maybe it needs to. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's down there. It's at the bottom. Okay, so main is an empty point. Uh, everything looks good. So far, so good. So we can try to um, run this code. Okay. Can run it here. Press start. Program, uh, if you look down there, program started and program stopped it at the same time at 17 o'clock, three minutes and 21 milliseconds. And it stopped at the same time. What happened? Okay, um, for the sake of easy visualization, I will just um, click on TROP1 sub window TROP1 underscore module one and select new vertical tab group. Okay, if I press start again, nothing move. The problem is that, okay, you see a yellow cursor here. It's there, it's never run the program because there's nothing inside the main procedure. What we can do is we can call path 10. We will call this, we will call another procedure. In this case, path 10. We apply, every time we change the code, we need to apply and start. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, you see that um, there are two icons now. We have arrow icon, which show where the program is running, and the robot icon, which indicates where the robot now, the, the, the current position of the robot. So the current position of the robot is at target 10. Okay, let's uh, start again. You can either hit start here or here, same thing, okay? Okay, it's a bit fast, but at least you see that robot icon uh, move from 10, 11, uh, move from line 10 to 13, okay? I think that's, enough for this video in the next video i'll explain you um some other rapid commands we only use uh move mm -hmm. out in this uh, tutorial so in the next tutorial we're gonna uh, switch to um, other commands see you bye